Hello my dear students, let's study now and understand the various applications of the refraction of light. The first application of the refraction of light is that the pond or the swimming pool, it appears shallower to us when we see it standing nearby the pond or swimming pool from outside. That means the actual depth of the pond, it is more as compared to the virtual depth or the apparent depth we, which we are able to observe from outside. So to explain this with the help of diagram, let's draw the diagram. I have taken one swimming, one picture of a swimming pool or a pond in the form of this shape and let us now draw the level of water over here. This represents the level of water of the swimming pool or the pond. One ray from the bottom of the pond, it will go straight. And we have done in the rules that when the angle of incidence is 0 degree or it is perpendicular to the surface of the substance or the water over here, then it will go straight without any refraction. This is the one ray. Another we will draw obliquely from the same point. So this is another ray from the same point. At this point we have to draw the normal also. This is the normal. We know that this medium is water which is a denser medium. This medium is a denser medium and outside this is air which is a rarer medium. So as the ray of light will enter from denser to rarer medium it will bend away from normal. So we will draw it away from normal. This ray will fall on the human eye, will enter into the human eye and it will appear to us that it is coming. We will retrace it backwards with the dotted line. So it will appear to us that the point which is at the bottom of this pond that is point A, it will be appear to us that this is at a raised level at point A dash. So all the points which are at A, they will appear to us at A dash. That means all the floor points, they will appear raised to us. So this is the water floor of the level which we can see from outside. That means this was... This was the real depth which we were talking about of the swimming pool or the pond. And this one is the apparent depth of the swimming pool or the pond. That is why due to refraction of light, the pond or the swimming pool, it appears shallower as the rays which are coming from the bottom of the swimming pool, they are coming from denser to rarer medium. It will bend away from normal and therefore the, all the points, they will be appear raised to some points A dash and the apparent depth, it is less than the real depth of the pond. Now let's start with the second application of the refraction of light where the coin which is kept in a glass of water, it appears raised. So the base diagram will be same. We will take a container. We will show the water level over here. And again, we will show the two rays. One where it will go straight without any refraction since angle of incidence is zero degree. It is perpendicular to the surface. The second will go oblique like this and since again this is the 
water which is a denser medium and it will enter into the air which is a rarer medium. So as the ray will go from denser to rarer medium it will bend away from normal but before that you have to draw the normal. It will go away from normal. Retrace it backwards with the dotted line till this. This will enter into the eye and it will appear to us that the coin which was kept over here at point A. Let us draw the coin over here. It will be appearing to us that it is at a raised position A dash. So this is the coin. coin kept at the bottom of the container and this is the coin which appears raised. So this is also because of the refraction of light that the coin which is kept at the bottom of the container the rays coming from that it will bend away from normal as it is entering from denser to rarer medium and it will appear to us that the point or the coin it is raised to a level A dash. Now this is the diagram for the third application. That is where the pencil or the stick when they are partially immersed in the water then they will also appear bent or broken at the surface of the water. So the base diagram again it will be same as we have drawn earlier the same container the same water level we will be showing. So this is the water level one ray will go straight at an angle I equal to 0 degree without any refraction perpendicular to the surface of the water another will go oblique like this then normal over here so the base diagram in all the three diagrams it will remain same over here again we will write down this is water which is a denser medium, air is a rarer medium and since it is entering from denser to rarer it will bend away from normal. So it will not go straight it is bending away from normal. It will enter into the human eye and it will appear to us that it is coming from somewhere above that original point. So this point was A and the raised point we know that it is labeled as A dash right. Now the problem is we have to draw the pencil over here. To draw the pencil over here we will draw the nib of the pencil that means the tip of the pencil like this and then we will be showing a pencil coming out of the water. So a pencil coming straight pencil the real pencil which is coming out of the water over this nib or this tip of the pencil now we can see it over here at the raised point A dash. So we will draw the tip of the pencil over here and we will join it with the these points which are at the surface like this. So now if I shade this then this is how 
the pencil will appear bent at the surface of the water many students they do this mistake that they connect this, these uh, two points with the points which are outside the water but that is not refraction the refraction will occur only the, at the entry point from the when it is entering into the water so you have to show the bending of the pencil from the surface of the water not from the air right so this is how you will show this is your original pencil or stick you will label it as pencil kept in water and label this as bent pencil that is apparent to us so this is how you have to explain the three applications of the refraction of light the first one the swimming pool or the pond it appears shallower coin kept in a glass of water appears raised and the last one the pencil or the stick which is kept partially immersed in the water it appears bent hope that you have understood how to draw the diagram and uh, we will meet in the next video to learn about how to draw the refraction through the glass lab thank you for watching students